Welcome to episode 3 of Coispiracy Theories. In January 2005, on a brutal winter's day at Cold Trafford, aka the theatre of nightmares, aka the place where we pay people to give us free points, aka Howard Webb's second home from home from home, we were disallowed a goal in one of the most ridiculous moments football has ever, I mean ever seen. These three points were important. They were imperative. We hadn't beaten Manchester United since 1989. That could have all changed. But no. Roy Carroll. The cheater. The cheater. The myth. No one remembers him. When he dies, no one will remember him. He has no legacy. Pretended to keep the ball from crossing the line after Pedro Mendes one of the best Portuguese players we have ever seen, kind of, scored from the halfway line. The shot was absolute fire, pure magic, hot, Perry Perry, Nando's, Portuguese, it links. Who else is Portuguese? People from the Illuminati. You may think they were from Germany, you may think they were from America, but I know they were Portuguese. Now, if you did your research, and you should do your research, then you would know that a tenth, or maybe even an eleventh, of the Illuminati is from Portugal. Headquarters based in Switzerland. Who else are from Switzerland? A couple good tennis players. Roger Federer, who has friends in Portugal. But you don't know this. I know this. You know why I know this? Because I did my research. You should do yours. We was robbed of our points, and now Roy Carroll has no friends, no legacy. He is a minuscule of a man and no one remembers him. But we remember this incident. Roy Carroll, was he living? Was he dying? Was he catching? He was cheating. This has been another episode of Coispiracy Theories. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with this theory and let me know if you've done your research by leaving a comment with the hashtag Research. Hashtag research. Quite theories. Episode number two. Lasagna Gate.